We're in the damn way. We have got important business to do on Sirion Yeon. Off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Oh. Uh. Nearly fell down the hole. Hi, Andresia. Right. Away we go. I forget what uh, planet Neon's on. I actually do forget. What? Volley. I, I honestly forgot what uh, what planet Neon's on. I was like, uh, I don't think I've been to Neon for a long time, to be fair. So I'm not surprised I've forgotten. I will do indeed. Neon Core. We still need to speak to Reasian um, Industries. I still haven't done that. I think they're the only people we haven't spoke to so far. I love, I love the way Neon looks. Okay, get me out of this fucking uniform. Holy shit. Get me back to that. And apparel. Get me back in my fucking jump shoot. Though that does look pretty sick to be fair. I do the way like the way uh, the uh, the uniform looks. Neon, welcome. I wonder what would ever happen if you just jumped into the water. You know, just 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 a morbid curiosity in a way. Uh, I'm dying. Right. Back in Neon, eh? Ah, uh, of course we've got to go to Ebside. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we have to go to Ebside? What a fucking dump. Ebside's a bad place for tourists these days. Well, good job I'm not a tourist. Nice. I love the music in this place. Well, hello there. Are you looking to get zoned? Well, zoned? Yeah, you know, dusted, blazed, frosted, hi. If you weren't here to buy some Aurora, then what the heck do you want? I'm not lo I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. Hmm. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Hmm. Wait. Who said no one's taking you seriously? Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm tired, pretty tired of getting being called a rook. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. 
The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayu off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Mm. He has certainly earned quite a reputation. Neon is proof of it. Bayou, who the heck is that? Benjamin Bayou, <laughs> Neon's esteemed mayor or administrator, or whatever the hell you want to call him. He's also the greediest bastard you'll ever meet. Got his fingers in everyone's business and the muscle mm -hmm. to back it up. The only reason I'm allowed to operate on Neon is because I pay well to keep my involvement off his radar. The last thing I need right now is an amateur like you getting me kicked off world. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. If you want to piss up the guy, oh, sorry, by complaining, that's on you. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. Oh, I'm sure you're not. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I don't think we've been down to the underbelly. What exactly is the power core? Some fancy name the brain trusted Jennerdyne calls the room where all the power from the conduction grid is stored. Cute, right? Hmm. Hey, don't look at me. I didn't build the damn thing. All I know is that the tech inside the place is valuable. Where is the underbelly? I've never seen it. <laughs> Beneath your feet, genius. Yeah. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. What kind of city are we talking about? I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. Fair enough. Sounds easy Love enough. The confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. Oh, While God. you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. What? It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Why should I bother doing this for you? <laughs> the elevator doesn't exactly go to the top floor in that head of yours, does it? Everything in the Crimson Fleet is accomplished through a decent helping of give and take. Okay. As in, I'm not going to give you the information to get your precious data unless you take this virus and upload it like I asked. Wow. No, I never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their data banks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Another Bayou that works at Jennerdyne. Yep, nepotism has its advantages. Word on the wow. street is that the Jennerdyne gig is the only one Benjamin <laughs> could get for his younger brother. He's, well, he's not the brightest. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you need to access their data? Let's just say that information can be just as lucrative as selling Aurora and keep it at that, okay? But okay. Don't worry. I okay. promised Delgado that when it came to the conduction grid data, that's his territory. I won't touch it. I'm assuming I'll be facing some security, though. Oh, no. Are you scared, little rabbit? Well, don't worry. I've got you covered. Wow, this is a sassy bitch, I swear. Tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you yeah, start with Amy then. Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. Okay. What do I need to uh, pass security? You should be asking what won't you need it for. The facility is closed to the general public, and they keep all of their important files encrypted. Not to mention the fact that there's going to be all sorts of nasty security inside you're going to want to bypass. There's got to be a catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Oh, God. Anyway, you can find Komiko at you. Oh, God. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself... She's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When well, done, I suppose a big go to the Trade Tower first, I guess. The Astral Lounge, so we can celebrate. Can you give me low down on Euphoria? Pretty laid-back club over in Ebside. Owner's name is Maiko. She's young, 
that's sharp as a razor and has gang muscle to back her up. The little Aurora lounge she has tucked away in the building is the real gold mine. Said she modeled it after opium dens on old earth. Yeah. Yeah, he takes a cut of the profits, of course. The rumor says it's way less than he usually takes. No one knows why. Because he's getting some. Because he's getting some. He's got to be getting some. Anything I need to know about Kamiko? Businesswoman. Tough as whole plating. She's the COO at Jennerdine, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. As for her relationships, well, that's a bit more complicated. Publicly, she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou. But rumor has it that she's exactly. just using Bayou. Exactly. Having a little bit of fun on the side with Micah. Pretty much exactly what I just said. I swear to God. You, I wouldn't bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a manipulative person who uses people to get what she wants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's his story then? Nepotism gets him the job at Jennerdine as their chief technician. Yet the guy doesn't know the first thing about electrical engineering. They obviously invented the position just to give them more on a salary. <laughs> One of the many poorly kept <laughs> secrets in Neon. Frankly, uh, I think he's such a screw-up. Benjamin Bay, you stuck his ass in that facility under the city to keep him out of the limelight. Hmm. What about Jennerdine? Can you tell me anything use about them? Not much to tell, really. Thanks to their nifty little conduction grid, they're able to provide power for the entirety of Neon. Damn thing was supposed to be some kind of miracle invention, turning lightning into usable electricity. Neat trick, right? Only catch is that you need a planet like Voli, where lightning strikes often enough to make it feasible. Guess how many of those exist? Ding! If you said zero, you're absolutely correct. So Jennerdine has been in uh, dire financial straits for years. Why is the construction it's grid? It's that hideous canopy over the center of the city that keeps the rich folks dry. Some folks around here call it the span. I think it's a massive eyesore. Like some sort of a modern art piece gone haywire. You can't miss it. Just poke your head outside and look up. Fair enough. I'm amazed they're still around then. You're not the only one. The only reason they haven't folded is because they charge exorbitant fees for power. I'm talking two or three times what it costs in New Atlantis. Damn. Okay, now, on to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdine and soaks up all that delicious profit? Rage Incorporation, isn't it? Not a single one. In fact, there are no legal alternatives for anything in this godforsaken city. The only thing people can do is deal with the bullshit and try to get on with their miserable lives. But let's get back to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdine and soaks up all its delicious profit? It's gonna be... Ryosian Corporation. Mm, not even close. God damn it. The answer you were looking for isn't another corporation. It's a person. It's good old Benny Bayou. That what? son of a bitch has a finger in every single pie and Fair enough, excuse for a I seat. guess. Jennerdine's no different. All off the books, of course. Wow. How do you think Brayson Bayou got the job down there? It wasn't because of his good looks or smarts. I can promise you that. Hmm. Well, fair enough. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she seems. Well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The Bayou Plaza. He's even called the Plaza after himself. Oh my god, that guy is a self-centered piece of shit. Oh, well, it looks like we've got to go down here anyway. The trade tower is down there. I don't think it's at upside, so I think the trade tower is in this corner, if I remember correctly, because uh, Shroud Eklund's over here, I, from memory. Sky Suites. Genodyne Industries. Do we need to go to our office to find incriminating evidence? Hi there. Yeah. What? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Don't look busy. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, 
We shut it down a year ago. What is the construction get? See that big yellow thing that's draped over almost the entire city? That's the grid. Or what the locals call the span. Besides looking like some sort of madman's modern art piece, it's actually the main source of the city's power. It all would have been nice. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Uh, Look, wow. I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. Why are you being so kind of open with this kind of sensitive information? Why? Because I'm sick and tired of putting on a corporate face and pretending that nothing's wrong. It's do or die time around here. We can either spin our wheels forever or worse, go under completely. Hmm. I would have expected this customer to be making a fortune. I wish that was the case. Fact of the matter is, we're barely treading water. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Hmm. Are you in charge around here, then? Unfortunately, no. I'm in third on the corporate ladder. One step above me is Ayumi Komiko. She's the COO of the company. And then there's Kaito Harada, our esteemed CEO who never seems to be around. Yeah, he's probably spending all your money. So the construction grid is... Your only product? No, of course not. We still produce smaller power systems and backup generators, but nothing even close to the magnitude of the conduction grid. Hmm. Genodyne needs to come out with something spectacular to put us back on the map. If not, we'll remain stagnant forever, or worse. Sounds like you need a new person in charge of R&D. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. Of course. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Why do you care so much about what happens to this place? I can give you 117 reasons. Our employees. If Genodyne goes completely under, how many of them will lose their jobs? How many might get cut in a restructure? My position puts me in charge of the welfare of our personnel. I can't in good conscience allow that to happen to them. That's fair, I get that. How did he get the job in the first place? Isn't it obvious? Administrator Bayou clearly leaned on Ms. Komiko to get his brother hired. It's nepotism in action. Yeah, that's true. You know there's other scientists working on at Brayson's side. Of course there are. But so far... Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Oh, of course he has. I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Uh, what does exactly this report say? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. Mm. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. Yeah, I get that. Um, if you're worried about a the company, then send a report. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all? Well, can... funny you should ask. Why no conduction grids in every major city? That's an excellent question. And the answer for it is surprisingly no simple. Lightning. The conduction grid is only effective in lightning-rich environments. That's why Volai was chosen as its primary development site. Genodyne has always hoped to adapt the grid's absorption technology for other applications, but nothing public has ever been announced. Hmm. How does it work, though? The span above the city is outfitted with a specially developed electromagnetic absorption system. When a lightning discharge hits the span, the energy is instantly distributed across the grid to prevent overload. 
The energy is then transferred through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers to ensure all of the negative and positive strikes are equalized. Hmm. At this point, the energy is clean, and it gets stored in massive storage cells in Neon's underbelly, from which it's parceled out and used for power. Huh. Actually quite cool. Where did you get your star? Genodyne was founded in 2232 by the original designer of the conduction grid, Felicia Corbin. Working from her facility in Neon, it took her almost 25 years to get the conduction grid up and running. That was Genodyne's first years. and last major success. Well, if I ask uh, you some questions about Miyukomi? So... As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. How long has she been your boss? I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis. He lives Atlantis. in New Atlantis? Oh, what a surprise. Do you enjoy working under her? Uh, she's my boss. She's fine, I guess. <laughs> Look, nice. Like I said, I don't want to get into serious trouble. Well... It's be a bit tough on all of us, but... Being responsible for Neon's Unfortunately power for a you, very stressful position. I'm going Sometimes to have to persuade down. you to tell. Whoa. If she's okay, that's crossing the line. In I anything can't illegal. Company matters like this. Nobody will ever know you told me. I promise. I wish I could, but if anybody found out, I told you. I'm getting tired of your attitude, though. Don't get bent out of shape. What's the harm if you tell me? I'd like to tell you. I really would. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few mm. weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, huh. but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell well, I helped, okay? You have been most helpful. You speak that, um, if you're so nervous about her being involved, why are you allowing me into her safe? Because I'm sick and tired hey, of Chicken Mike, how's it going? running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed and spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Something rotten is going on in this company, and one day, I hope to find out what it is. Fair enough, that's all I wanted to ask. Sure, sure, no problem. It was great speaking with you. It was very great speaking with you two. If you want to talk, you'll have to schedule an appointment. Well, I've got an appointment with her safe. Actually, I think I've got um, a skill point that I can put into uh, persuasion. Hell yeah. Need to get five... Five spilled. Five more challenges. Don't know what that does, but... Okay. See that? Stop right there. Oh, fuck. You're under arrest. No sudden moves. I'm happy to pay the fine, but maybe you don't need to search me for contraband. You know, I can just tell you've got no contraband. Let's head to the station, though. God damn it. God damn it. Well, that was uh, costly, wasn't it? Got a 